Well, my friends, we're getting right into it. It is 5.12 p.m. We need to get to the post office, of course. We got one package there, and then I got a bunch on my stairwell. I need to pull out the car, put it in the back seat, and roll. My friends, we had a great, great weekend of selling Christmas cards and a unit for your camera that I reviewed and a couple other products I reviewed and a couple dumpster diving finds, well, half dumpster diving finds, well, mostly dumpster diving finds, and then about maybe two or three packages of product reviews. Finally got around to listing and selling. Feels great to finally put in that work, put it up on eBay. Once it's on eBay, stash it away until it sells. You might have to lower that price a little bit, you know what I'm saying, if it doesn't sell with one of the uh, items that I just sold today. There was actually, sometimes you have to look back because it's not like Amazon where they won't tell you if they're, you're the lowest price or not. So sometimes you have to actually go on eBay, research it, lower your price for your competitors, and that way you'll definitely sell it quickly. If you're looking for you know quick cash or you just wait out your competitor, wait till their inventory is shut out clean if they have less inventory than you and then you'll go right back to start selling your stuff. You know what, price competition, my friends, it's the name of the game. 5.15 p.m. and there's like barely in the ambient light left. Ah, this is killing me. Just the days, especially if you sleep in, if you stay up late and doing trash to treasure, the days just go by fast, or at least it gets dark really, really quickly. But anywho, guys, we're looking absolutely fantastic. Now here is one option. Now I did mention a camera shoulder rig thingamabobber that I did review. I actually did not ship that out today. I was talking about it, but I did not ship it out today. That was something that's just gonna take too much time and I ran out of tape as well. I've been duct taping some packages, making it look a little professional, but duct taping a little bit of, <laughs> so it is what it is. Anywho guys, what I wanted to tell you was that if some of your packages are within a stone's throw away, so for instance, I bought that one Xerox color printer off somebody off eBay, got it for a killer price. I mentioned that because I found all a bunch of toner for it and wanted to test it out. Anywho, what I wanted to say was that the shipping would have been phenomenal on that. It was majorly heavy. The guy probably lived 15 minutes away from me and I'm like, come drop it off on my front porch. No worries, I live in a safe area. And he probably would have lost money or he would have canceled the auction altogether and I would have lost out on owning a really awesome printer for a really inexpensive price. So he just dropped it literally off on my porch and he saved a ton of money, saved on shipping fees, saved from boxing it, bubble wrapping it and all that stuff. And this little camera equipment thing that I sold, uh, even though uh, it's a little bit more than a stone's throw, this guy lives about 35 minutes away from me, but my mind, Papa and Natalie's parents are coming in from Brazil tomorrow. We're gonna be up there that direction at the airport picking them up. So I'm like, man, should I just hold off and drop it off on his front door? Of course, you'd have to find out ahead of time if he lives in a gated community, safe neighborhood, etc. I mean, it's, if it's worth your time, you're gonna save some cash, guys. So that's something to keep in mind, especially for heavy items, because again, or you could do local pickup only on eBay, meaning that they have to come get it type thing like that. All right, almost to the post office, let's roll. Well, my friends, it's time to come over here to Albertsons and grab water. We're low on water. We need a 35 pack and maybe eight gallon single jugs. Crystal geyser is my favorite, let's roll. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the final shebang over here and over here. It's gonna take a while for all those cords, but let's go. Well, we've transformed the room here. As we can tell, it looks a lot different. My goodness gracious, here was the bed here, or here is the bed here. And then we have this gorgeous looking decoration pieces right here. Where'd my whiteboard go? Looks very plain right there, but it is what it is. We got the thing set up right here. We got the wireless router right behind here, tucked in right there, as we can see. Again, no whiteboard. This is still here with some clothes in there, decoration pieces. I'm either gonna bring this router all the way over here, but I don't know if the cabling is legitimate for the actual cable underneath there. We will see, we will see, we'll play around with that. Guys, let's go ahead and come on in here and take a little gander here real quickly. We see the PC on the ground here. We do need to connect that all up. We were able to put the base underneath the little stool here, the stool. Actually, it's one of those Ikea little stool there's, but the printer is on top. Again, a monster beast of a Berger. 
We had to switch up the screen to this side of the room over here, of the desk, I should say, because the missus still needs to get into her closet on this side. We'll go ahead and scoot that lamp over a little bit more. And the reason why it's pushed all the way over this way is because, again, the bed, and I needed to slip my chair underneath right here. We still are on stilts so that we are able to slip our chair underneath. We do need to organize, of course, put the monitors in the proper position, get the decoration pieces, get Groot in the 49ers helmet positioned just right, but it is a work in progress. We will be up super late tonight doing all that fun stuff. Washing is done, vacuuming is done, looking absolutely fantastic. We do need to go to the airport in the morning, so we're gonna be up late, we're all gonna be tired. They're gonna be jet lagged, we're gonna be tired. We'll all sleep together, baby. It's gonna be a big happy family, you know what I'm saying? A lot of good food, a lot of good fellowship, and we got the bicycle jerseys we're gonna go ahead and put in here. We're gonna go ahead and stash some decoration pieces, some decorating pillows, all that fun stuff. Hey, there's the minions. I was wondering where those were. Our little mono poles right here, GoPro poles. We'll deal with that. Where is Poop Emoji? There he is, there he is. I seen him over there. Poop Emoji's just hanging out tonight. So we're looking good. Let's just get into it. Break time for food though, I'm starving, let's go. Well, the meat's cooking, my friends. Let's come on over here, 10.46 p.m. Looking absolutely fantastic with the sliced pineapple. I probably could eat that whole thing, but I'm gonna hold off. It's absolutely fantastic. Let's wait till that cooks up real, real nice. Let's go ahead and take a little gander in the refrigerator and let's see what we got. We got some avocado. Oh, we gotta throw in some tomatoes and onions. Forgot about that. Let's go ahead and get that in the books here, as we can see. We're gonna preparation ourselves. Nice little spinach shake for the next meal of the night. Spoonful of peanut butter. We got some low fat mozzarella cheese. Oh, we gotta get some coconut water in the books. Okay, enough vlogging, more eating. Let's roll. Well, hey guys, like that new decoration pot right there. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Remember that? We grabbed that out of the cans with flowers in it. We cleaned the pot and it looks absolutely stunning. My wife really likes that, and that is on our staircase. As you go up and you go down, you're gonna see the pot right there, absolutely fantastic. Now, let's get into what this is right here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, big box here, and we're gonna get straight on into it. If things do sound different, you are now on my Canon 60D, so we're gonna go ahead and set this up and get this going here. Now, this actually came Sunday. I repeat, this actually came Sunday but we just have not had time to open it up quite yet. So we're gonna do that now because I think I know what it is and I'm excited about it, but we just haven't had time. As you can tell, if you look back there, it is a little bit messy because we're still getting some eBay auctions out to the post office and Natalie's parents come tomorrow morning. So it's right now, 1.33 a.m. in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and get some sleep. And it's gonna be a few hours, but you know, all we're gonna do is pick them up at the airport, come on back here, they're gonna get settled in and then probably wanna crash out hard, as will I. And then we'll all wake up, have dinner together, and just chill out and relax. So, God bless their journey as they're coming. They're actually flying right now, right now, as I'm actually talking to you. Oh, very nice guys. Ladies and gentlemen, are we ready for this one? Boom, boom, boom. I think you guys know the theme lately of the drones. Wow, absolutely spot on, fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. This we're looking at is the Hornet 5.8, not 2.4, Hornet 5.8 gigahertz FPV drone. Absolutely fantastic. I am looking forward to this. I'll be testing this out hopefully in the next couple days from now but I always give you a little sneak peek of what I am unboxing before I actually get into it. If you're always interested in what this is and you want to read more about it before I get around to doing it, then look in the description box, you'll see the link for this bad boy. Anywho guys, I'm looking forward to that red and white look at that. And let me tell you precisely, and the company that sent that out is USA Toys. They've taken great care of me sending out products for review and I appreciate them, USA Toys. Go check out that link below. Well guys, with that ado, I got some more stuff to do. I still gotta edit the vlog. And that little bubble wrap thing back there, if you can see it, that is actually the shoulder rig mount that I need to sell. Actually, no, I've already sold, but I actually need to somehow put something around it. I don't have a box big enough for it. And so we are gonna be taking that to the post office on the way to go pick up Natalie's parents. And I think drop off one more thing as well. 
we're just selling. So that's absolutely fantastic, putting a lot of cheese in my PayPal account, which I'm definitely thankful for, blessed. And you guys just have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys on the following day. It's gonna be exciting picking them up, having them here. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.